Hello, my name is Shuttley and welcome back to another episode of House Hunter and Dragons 3 and at the end of the last episode we started participating in another crusade and we won our first uh, proper battle here which the enemy technically had more troops there but they were coming in piecemeal so we managed to beat them without too many issues and now we see down quite a few troops or places here I think I'm gonna disband this army though um, Hold on. Yeah, you just go there and we'll disband you. Just so that we're going to lower the upkeep costs. Because that should be rather handy. Now, where else are there enemies in here? There's some over there. Okay, so I suppose I could just start marching down south. And we are reinforcing a tiny bit here, so that's good. Diplomacy pack available. Okay, so we can get the diplomats. And now I think it's time to switch to stewardship. So we're going to take... Ooh, actually the wealth focus wouldn't be bad for us right now. On the other hand, the main focus... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to take that. And take the golden obligation so I can get a lot of money from the family members and start building up a lot of places. Right, it's actually... Ooh, wow. So in the battle we lost 330 men. They lost 1300 men. I'm guessing the pursuit phase... Well, we killed quite a few in there. About 400. A bit more than that. But actually in the battle itself we killed much more. But that was a good battle. To say the very least. And I should be getting the victory in this because I am the number one participation in here. I got 20% of the participation. How much does the second one have? Oh. All right, they're getting right. So that's not their contribution is uh, eleven hundred, while I have over ten thousand. Can I actually catch that army there? I might be able to catch some armies here. Can I catch them there? Is the next question. Nope. I'm moving away. I'm, I think I'm going to turn around and go after this army instead. Turn it troubles. Um, ooh. I'm just going to take a smaller threat reduce there. Wait, is that? Oh, right, this is the enemy capital, isn't it? Right, well, we'll just seize it down real quick. It's actually a rather small fort level there, which is a bit surprising. Oh, and East Frankia's uh, vassal is taking over his Yellen by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, holy war. Fair enough. Oh, I can ransom some prisoners. Oh, I get ice money from the Pope. Um, why not both? I'm going to have to ransom the other prisoners soon after, but that's alright. Now, actually, can we upgrade more stuff in here? We can. Now, how much would the upgrade over here do? Just an extra hundred and levies and a little bit better heavy infantry and spearmen. Not too bad. At the same time, uh, we're still building over here, aren't we? Yep, we are. What about Riga? Uh, we got the walls there, but that's about it. The, no, the control isn't too bad in there. On the other hand, hold on, so I know that Vispy is going to be something that I will hold after, or most likely hold after the, oh, actually, let's have a look at the succession real quick. So, we're going to hold Lubeck and Gotland. And then we're going to lose a lot of titles, but we will be holding the Duchy of Holstein as well. So, I might want to focus on developing those two. I actually wonder, could we build a city somewhere around here? For example here, we could. It's a bit expensive, so we may... Ooh, excessive tariffs. Ooh, that's not good. Right, well, we should be getting this siege done before we run out of money. Or we can ransom another prisoner. To give us a bit extra cash there. But yeah, this siege shouldn't take too long. Scheme at court. Oh no. 
Okay. So once we get that, that is going to be the capital, isn't it? So if we then start marching down south, we might be able to either challenge that army or help with the sieges and or battles around here. Okay, we did increase control in Gotland, so that's good. There are some prisoners that I could... Oh, not in... Uh, criminals that I could imprison, not prisoners that I could... Uh, <laughs> yeah, um... Ooh. I took the air as a prisoner. Oh, uh, that's gonna hurt. Can we actually reinforce a little bit there? I don't think we will. Oh, we caught a small army there. I did not see them there. Oh well, and they brought in a second army. Bold. But it's not gonna save them. This should go at a decent speed. Actually, oh, they're speeding very slowly. Because they don't have siege weapons. So they've got eight months on that, whereas we have four months. That's the max amount, so all four months max. So we should be able to get this siege done and then go and break that siege. And I'm guessing we are still well... Yeah, we've got 12,000 participation. Pope doesn't count, I suppose. And the rest have, like, in the small thousands. Sure, I'll ransom you. It's gonna give us a bit more cash again. How far are we from getting the... Uh, wall here? Two years left, okay. So it's probably around the time when the crusade ends. Or maybe a little bit sooner. Okay, so that siege is about done, and then we can go and break their siege. They have better army commander, but we got more trait, and we got higher quality. Ooh, hold on. Ah, Gotland has been finally converted. Okay, um... Question, should I start converting more around here? Maybe. You don't have a... You know what, since we did get the... Claim fabrication stuff, though I think it might be a good idea to expand a little bit in here. Oh, right. You know what, let me get a claim on uh, Ripon. So I can retake that area at some point. Because this battle is going well in our favour. We've lost a little bit of troops here, but I think, especially once we get into the pursuit base, it's going to be a massacre there. Okay, let's have a look at the battle then. So we lost less than 300, they lost again 1300. Look at, so in the pursuit, oh wow, 500 dead. Quite impressive. And you, yeah, in total, the Connie have been amazing in battles. Especially in the pursuit part, so let's go and see down another place, although we should probably wait until we... Oh, we did actually reinforce that tiny bit. Because is the... Oh wow, there's only fort level 1, this is going to be a very quick siege. Oh, it's 100%. Aha! Okay, uh... King Limar... Victory in the crusade of Lothring after defeating Gargamel and his team warriors in several locations are warriors forced the enemies of fate to admit the ignominious defeat. Apparently, I can't pronounce that. And with the occupation lands firmly under the leadership of a, a pious Catholic ruler, we can rest assured that divine will of St. George has been enacted. It's a glorious day for all true followers of the cross. Okay, so. My beneficiary. Did you get a cla uh you did get County of Nancy? Ah, I see. Then I got a lot of cash out of that. Fairer increased. Okay, so be it. I can disband the troops. Gain a level of devotion, good. And is there 
Oh, right, I could imprison people. I'm going to form the Duchy of Visby now. Let's just make sure. Will we actually keep that now in the succession? Nope, Gotline is now going to go for someone else, but we have thrown in. Okay. I suppose that is a place that we could improve a tiny bit. Okay, the second level of pastures. Oh, right. Um, we got the control increase in Gotland, so that's now full. That's alright. I suppose we should start figuring... Oh, actually, before I go too much forward, I want to increase this by a level, and maybe this one by another level, so that's going to increase our seed speed quite nicely. Ooh, my sister has died of old age. That's not good. We could go on for a pilgrimage, of course. I can't afford most of those, so I might want to wait a little bit. But let's actually have a look. Uh, Catholics... Holy Science... Jerusalem is held by Orthodox. But everything else is held by Catholics. And that's not too bad. And the faction has been disbanded. How? Huh? Ooh! Coinage is going to be seven years away right now. And after we get that, we'll start getting some progress on the High Medieval. It's going to take a, maybe a couple of decades before we actually get into the era. But it's not too bad. Oh, we're getting the Chronicle Rising, so that's that. Uh, Caspelli Prestige cost goes down. Individual de jure duchy Caspelli. Oh, right. Okay, so I... Uh, hmm. Oh, East Frankia has gotten quite stronger now. And probably been able to consolidate the regions. So Lothringia, okay, you've got fairly strong armies. So I don't necessarily want to attack you right now. Now where are we? I mean, we are getting the claim over there, which is almost done to be fair. I suppose I could move then... Uh, is Lithuania... I like to Kurland. But the Kurland wouldn't be able to join if I declared war on them. And there's probably at least something in here that I could check. Oh, right. Do they hold the... Yeah, they hold the duchy there, don't they? Um, sure. I'll get the claimed over there. Lose a little bit of money. I suppose I could use you to do the religious relations for a little while. Get the piety up. So we can actually ask for more... Oh, well, yeah. Well, we can't ask for money right now. Negotiate an alliance. Sure. Right then, so Duchy of Finland, or Petty Kingdom of Finland, uh, you are, okay, you're still a pagan, but if I was to do, okay, uh, Duchy or County is basically the same thing with this, uh, Cat Branch, okay, I could have another county to be fair, so I suppose, hold on, uh, let's have a look at the duchies here, so that is part of Livonia, there's that. That's one, two, three counties there. Okay. Oh, you hold both of the titles. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and we got a new archbishop. Are you in a... You are much better. Ooh. My daughter... Oh, hold on a minute. Is this my heir? No. My heir has got a grandson that would be of our dynasty. But the grandson over there is still a problem. To be sure. I suppose I could try do another... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Never mind then. I think I'll let her go free though. Right, so now that we've got that, let's uh, convert Riga. It shouldn't take too long. Eight years. Yeah, the fervor is a bit of a problem there. Our fervor is only 39% right now. I mean, to be fair, we are rather large at religion. There's no denying that. Well, we're getting almost 13 gold per month now. That's not too bad. Our levies are certainly growing. Um, hold on a minute. 
Once we get a bit more, I suppose I could increase the mangonels to level 7. Although 6 is probably alright, it's already extra point, oh, 1.8 for the siege progress. Could be a lot worse. Right, but I think... You're being raided right now. I think I'm just going to declare holy war for the county. And then we're going to raise the local army here. The question is how many allies will they manage to get? But I don't think they will be getting a lot. Finland is still a tribal. So we do need to be a bit careful with them because they can amass quite a massive army. And even though our troops are pretty impressive in quality, they're not quite that impressive yet. Okay, Aquitain has won a war. Are we? Oh, we are neighboring them. Right. They don't actually hold anything that we need right now. Hold on, who holds? Zealand is independent there. Okay. Now we've got hostage. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. And for demands, so be it. Span armies. Right, are you actually of my dynasty? Yes, you're of a um, separate branch, but that's alright. That's actually... Ooh, golden obligations. Now, we probably have... Um, actually, we may need to wait for a moment. Are we? We are the leader of the dynasty, so... Oh, we don't have a call physician. We should probably fix that. Okay, one of my knights seems to have 19 learning, so I suppose that will be good enough. Right, so uh, that would be an intrigue. We may need to wait a little bit before we can start uh, demanding money from the hooks. I'm assuming there is going to be an option for that, though. It's been a while since I had this. Oh, I can serve the Petter Kingdom of uh, Livonia. Not have the cash, of course, unless I can get... Let's have a look. Is that an intrigue? Not hostile. Demand payment. Oh, most of them probably don't have the gold. That would make sense. Sure, I'll ransom her. There we go, so we didn't actually get all of that gold, even though it said that we would. Alright then, so, um, we expand it a little bit closer to, ooh, hold on a minute. Once we're done with the conversion, although it's Estonia, you are a Catholic. But Reval is another one of the places that we need to get at some point. Also, is Vodi, can we declare war on you? Nope, because we do not have a Casus Belli against you. If we could take a uh, Raval, then we'd maybe do a Holy War for... Is that...? No, that's different Duchess. Damn it. What about Lithuania? You are Catholic, so I won't be able to do much about you, I suppose. Well, there's some claims, and then there's the false vassalization. Cultural clash. Um, 99% chance of leaves switching to Palabian. I'll take it. Now, of course, it is a bit lower development, so that might slow our advancing a tiny bit here. Well, the coin is still five years, so it's not too bad. Ooh, I didn't realize that our learning is actually fairly low comparatively to the previous character that we had. Ah, and this we got the wall completed. I think it's time to get a farm and fields here. And homesteads have been built in Groningen. Let's actually have a quick look. Uh, the succession. 
So we'd be having Leaves, Groningen, and Lübeck. Uh, could be worse. So is Frankie. I, ooh, you are fighting a war. Holy War for. County of Lollen Falster. Oh, over there. Wait, are you defending in a. Oh, right, you are all dancing. Are you defending? Oh, hold on a minute. One of my vassals. Oh, okay. Oh, but you have a massive. Bar. Oh, right, you got a lot of mercenaries there. If they were taking that. Yeah, well, I'd be alright with that. I mean, you have taken that. I, I think it was your father, actually, that took that, but still. Call to war. My dear grandfather, I call you to honor your alliance. Okay, who is that? King of Finland. Oh, crap. Um. How much do you have? 7,000? Oh, right, you probably... The old king has died recently, hasn't he? When did you die? No, no, that king has been there for a while. Or dead for a while, although... But how long have you been on the throne, or who, who held the throne before? Is there a history? Yes, there is. I'll pull that to the side. So you inherited two years ago. When there was King Toivo. First, who died. Right. Oh, these are Aurora kids. <laughs> okay. Right, I suppose I will join that war. Destroying the Finns is uh, always a noble goal. Right, so I suppose it would be better for me to raise up my armies here. I'm going to raise the local army there. And then I'm going to raise an army over here. Which is the rest of the levies. Just so that they are separated into two armies already. Can we demand money from, or ask money from the head of the base? Yes, we can. That's going to be enough to keep us going for a while. We got, well, oh wow, that's actually a lot of men there. We may need to switch around some of these troops. Just to lower the um, supply limits, or be within the supply limits rather. Okay, let's have a look at the war. Uh, the enemy has 7,000 men, we got 8,500 men. I mean, I suppose if my troops are fighting them in a good terrain, we should be able to win that fight against the entire enemy army. Oh wow, no. What is Nogrod doing? Are they fighting their own war? Oh, they are, against uh, Karelia. Oh, Karelia is attacking Novgorod. Oh, I see. Then... Onega and East Kilt are also attacking. Okay, so they are defending in a lot of wars. They're not actually attacking anyone. Directly, anyway. Well, I suppose I'll go in here and start seizing down. The supply limits are going to be a problem. Oh crap, that's that's a massive army. Where are our troops? They're still pretty far away. They got the entire army here. Um, we will be defending in fairly good terrain. And can we get this army into the battle in time? Questionable. We might lose this battle, but we are certainly doing a lot of damage on them. You know what? Why don't you just get to Riga for the time being? Now, of course, they got the pursuit over there. Let's have a look at the... So we lost 700, they lost also 700, so it's... Not terrible. Let's look at the details a little bit there. So, how much did we lose in pursuit? Basically nothing. Lost quite a bit of pikemen, and Connie, and bowmen. 
and levies. The knights did pretty good damage though. Alright then, well, we'll retreat there, we'll regroup a little bit. We may need to actually send or give some of the levies to that army. Just to give them a little bit more oomph, so to speak. Oh, they are going away. They might be trying to land elsewhere. Right, so how about we reorganize these? We'll give you one of those at least. Maybe one of those. So now it should be fairly even. Spread, out, spread them out a little bit so we should be able to resupply. Well, uh, you cannot resupply there. Okay, can you? Is there any place that you could? Okay, over there you could. Or over there. But we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.